Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome. This is a beautiful morning we have and uh, I'm so happy to be back uh, to continue with our lessons and I hope you're going to enjoy. I hope you enjoyed our first lesson uh, in Swahili and today we are going to continue and we are going to learn great things uh, about Swahili and uh, we are going to start off uh, from uh, uh, same sound as in English that's uh, sound uh, F H L M N S uh, v, W, Y, and Z. So uh, those letters or those sounds, they sound same sound as in English. We start from uh, uh, sound F. So we have a word starting with sound F, which can sound as in English, you know, F. When we pronounce it in Swahili, it can sound as uh, you can you can you can hear it and uh, perceive it as if it is sounding as uh, English. So the first word we are going to say is Farasi. Farasi is a Swahili word which means horse. Farasi, Farasi. Uh, we are going also to see there is another word, feather, feather, feather. Uh, spelled as F E D H A, which means silver, silver, and uh, there is also another word uh, we pronounce it as figo. Figo means kidney, okay? Figo means kidney, and there is also another word, foronya. Foronya means pillowcase you know pillowcase for Ronya and uh, we have the last word that is kifua kifua means chest so the words that start with F Farasi which means horse feather which means silver uh, figo which means kidney for Ronya or for Ronya, which means pillowcase and finally kifua which means chest you know the chest okay and we have also sound h the words that start with sound h are hatari hatari means danger okay like when we tell people don't touch naked wires there is a sign that we put there like kenya power puts a sign that means danger if you touch a naked wire it means you're going to to harm yourself to harm your body so we put a sign which says danger and the danger we say in swahili hatari hatari uh, there is also another word which starts with sound h and that is hewa hewa means air you know air hewa there is also another one historia historia means history historia means history as you can hear the word H is included in the word history and in Swahili we pronounce historia so it might sound the same as in English which means history and in Swahili we say historia so you can see uh, same sound as in English and there is also another word hoteli hoteli sorry hoteli means hotel Okay, hotel. So we pronounce just the sound as the same in English, but in English uh, it's hot, hotel, but in Swahili it's 
hotel you seem like uh, prolonging the words you know it's like uh, you just uh, uh, prolonging the word well pronounced hotel hotel in English you pronounce hotel okay and um, there is also uh, another word huduma Huduma means service, okay? Service. So we can see Huduma has sound H. It means service, okay? Uh, there is also another word uh, which contains sound L or letter L. And uh, we have Saladi. Saladi means salad, okay? Salad. Saladi means salad only that uh, in swahili we have added an i at the end of the word saladi and we have also another word which starts with the sound l uh, and that is and that is uh, leseni leseni means license okay so i'm just going to tell you the words and their meanings and how we pronounce them in Swahili so uh, leseni means license okay limau limau means lemon okay uh, limau means lemon uh, lozi means almond lozi means almond I hope you got that and we have also a final uh, word in sound L uh, Luha Luha means language okay Luha means language as you can see the letter G uh, is uh, is uh, combined with the the, uh, the last letter A so uh, so G G is not pronounced it's not pronounced so we say luha so G is silent letter G is silent so luha means language that is in Swahili luha so uh, we're going to see sound M or letter M uh, we have words like maji maji uh, which means water and we have also meza which means table okay meza which means table we have also another word mimi mimi which means i you know i and uh, we also have another word uh, moja moja which means one just one moja which means one uh, there is also another one muhimu muhimu means important okay important muhimu muhimu we have also a uh, word starting with sound s sound s uh, this include safari safari means journey okay safari means journey and uh, we also have another word serikali 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 means government uh, government sorry and we have also another word siri siri means secret okay so we have also another word uh, which starts with uh, with sound uh, s sound s that is sokwe uh, sokwe means chimpanzee chimpanzee uh, we also have another word uh, which start uh, which contains letter s or sound s uh, which is kasuku so kasuku means parrot okay kasuku means parrot uh, we also have uh, words uh, which uh, start with sound v sound v uh, that is vanilla vanilla i know you pronounce it in english as vanilla vanilla so vanilla means vanilla uh, there is also another word which starts with a uh, uh, sound v which is veli veli means veil okay veil you know veil okay the one you can put on your face so veil okay veli in swahili uh, next 
uh, it's vita vita means war okay vita vita means war to fight okay to fight vita means war and uh, there is also another word uh, that is volcano 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 uh, it means volcano okay volcano we pronounce just the same as in Swahili same way you pronounce it in Swahili it's the same way you pronounce it in English but only that in Swahili there is uh, we, we put a letter K so we say volcano volcano so in English it means volcano okay uh, we also have another word vumbi vumbi means dust okay vumbi means uh, dust uh, next we're going to see uh, words that start with the sound W uh, first word is watu watu means people okay watu means people and uh, we also have wembe wembe means uh, razor okay razor blade okay razor blade wembe okay and uh, we also have another word that is wiki wiki means weak okay just uh, uh it is pronounced just as the same as in in english uh, we pronounce it in swahili as wiki wiki which means weak weak but we say in swahili wiki wiki okay weak and uh, we also have uh, another word woga woga means fear okay so uh, it starts with the sound w woga woga means fear and next we are going to see sound y okay sound y the words that start with sound y just a few uh yaya okay yaya means made okay yaya means made and we also have another word yeye okay yeye so yeye means uh she or he okay it means he or she she or he so yeye and uh, in Swahili you must have noticed now as I say yeye he or she it covers both it's not like in Swahili you can say he went you know meaning a, a, a gentleman or a man but in Swahili we say yeye meaning both uh, her and him okay so it means yeye means she or he and we also have another word uh, which starts with a sound y that is yeyote yeyote means anyone okay yeyote means anyone and uh, that's how we pronounce it yeyote yeyote anyone and then there is another word which starts with sound y that is uniform uniform okay uniform which means uniform uniform okay uniform equal okay uniform in Eng in swahili uniform uniform and uh, in english it's uniform it means uniform okay uh finally we're going to see sound z okay sound z uh there were there, there are words that start uh and a couple of them where well, i have a couple of them here and uh, that is zabibu zabibu means grape okay zabibu means grape okay another one is zege zege means concrete concrete zege means concrete and we have ziwa ziwa means lake okay lake ziwa means lake we also have zoezi 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 which means exercise zoezi means exercise we also have another one which 
starts with sound Z and that is the word Zulia. Zulia means carpet, okay? Zulia means carpet. Okay, now uh, interestingly we are going to see uh, some words uh, which have a rolling R, letter R or sound R. A rolling rolling R and uh, you know the letter R is always pronounced with a rolling tongue you know for example rangi rangi means color so you say rangi rangi you, as you can hear R sounds like as if it's I'm, I'm just rolling my tongue okay rangi you say rangi okay uh, which means color and we also have another word uh, that is radio 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 means radio okay radio means radio and uh, we also have another word habari habari means news okay habari means news okay receiving good news okay so habari so habari when you hear somebody say habari he means to say news okay we also have another word robo robo means quarter okay robo means quarter and we also have another word rubani 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 means pilot okay rubani means pilot so for next time when i come back we're going to start from two consonant combinations that is ch th uh, gh kh mb my nd uh, ng and ng with an apostrophe at the uh, at the uh, on top and then nj ny sh th vy don't worry uh, i think this is the some of the some of the hardest part but i hope you're going to enjoy and learn quickly and uh, it's not as hard as i said before but uh, i'm sure you're going to love it thank you so much and bye for now enjoy learning swahili